Uh, oh, Stormer hyped. How's it going? Good, good. Glad to be here. So uh, you just just live around here, I guess, right? Just dropped in. Yeah. Yeah. Like twenty minutes away without traffic. Well, that's pretty convenient. So with traffic, like four day, hours. Yeah. Four hours. <laughs> yeah. Seems about right. Yeah. LA is a crazy place. Um, well, we are going to go into uh, the next match fairly soon. Here is going to be against the two players which haven't seen that much exposure throughout Hearthstone's history. It's uh, Lead Paint versus Domnus. Um, and they had a pretty unfortunate sequence of games so far. I don't know if you caught that. Um, but uh, both seem like really, really cool guys. And at least one of them will be brutally slain by Colento in the match following at that one. We're just calling that. Okay. <laughs> this is confirmed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, I did I did catch some of that uh, Kit Kats versus Colento match. And uh, very impressive stuff. Um, really got to see, you know, the craziness that is Grim Patron Warrior. Um, a lot of people see kind of negatively because, uh, you know, it's, I guess it's kind of one-dimensional. People don't like to see super dominant decks. But it's cool, isn't it cool? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's it's really complex and also yeah. like um, a small like it's really difficult because you always have to decide also whether you have a lethal or not. And if you miss it, you completely like sometimes you throw the games. Yeah. If you miss like this one or the two damages, it's it's the same again. So it's it's um, like the only reason like the deck is not around like everywhere is because of the high skill gap. And yeah, yeah I guess like um, it's really enjoyable. Like if you play it, you it's not like another deck which you can just play and on the side, but you really have to focus on it yeah. 100%. Yeah, it's it's really nice to play at least. Have you had much fun with this one? With Patron Warrior? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's uh, in li like Life Coach is saying, yeah, sometimes in like the actual tournament matches, you when you're like really under pressure, the the one minute thirty seconds. It's really even comes harder into to play. play the hard deck, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Domus is not actually playing Grim Patron Warrior, from what I remember. I believe he's playing. Um, kind of like an anti-Grim Patron Warrior setup, which doesn't didn't work all that well because Grim Patron Warrior just won anyway. Yeah, it's, the games. The, it's yeah. always the risk when you try to run up against the very the strongest deck. Yeah. And Lead Paint uh, just had terrible luck with every single thing you queued into Kalento with. And, uh, well, maybe, uh, maybe this will change for him. But uh, we will get to see at least more of one of the players. So um, yeah, I've had a lot of fun. Uh, all, all the players here that are, you know, some people don't really regard as like, very well-known players. I think they've uh, not only shown that they can play pretty good, pretty good Hearthstone, but they're all they're all pretty cool guys, pretty sociable guys, and that's that's kind of a surprising thing from like the the gaming scene. So I'm, I'm glad to see it. So it is it is Druid versus Control Warrior, and. Um, I don't recall exactly what type of druid this is. I think it was a druid with a bunch of taunts with combo. Yeah, this engine's already telling you that it's going to be something heavier, so I'm guessing there's there's ancient wars in there. But but he's got the combo too. We saw at least one copy of each of, of each of the cards. By the way, uh, did Jit Paint kept the shade? It's a really interesting decision, right? Because there will be turn two white growth, and he could usually perfectly curve into Sengen, but he decided to actually keep the shade. Mm -hmm. how, how do you think about that? Um, yeah, so he had he had just one with the with the Sengen and the Shade. Uh, he had like yeah, Sengen Wild Ghost Shade. Yeah. Yes. And he drew into the second Sengen. I think it's reasonable because it's stealth. It's not going to die at anything, and it's you know it's you're paying uh it would be your turn four Shade technically because you're playing the Sengen on three. It's fine. It seems fine to me. Okay. I believe I believe Domdus is the Control Warrior player with double brawl though. Okay. Yeah. I think so, so that's that's a little bit less fine maybe. Mm -hmm, yeah, definitely. Um, Domnus was like, um, what was, uh, uh, what were uh, his decks like? Um, Control Warrior, Handlock, and Druid, I believe. And Druid, okay. Yeah, I think so. After after a while, you don't really remember that much about <laughs> the details, but once you see it there, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, double brawl. That's right. <laughs> yeah, he's got double brawl and the ghoul. It's a little unusual. Double Brawl kind of to uh, try to handle the Grim Patron Warrior and the mm -hmm. Ghoul to not fall too far behind against like Hunter, I the, guess. The Ghoul is really interesting nowadays because of all the Patron Warriors around. Like the Ghoul was, let's say, marginal value beforehand, but now with all the Patron Warriors, I feel that Liability. he really lost in value. Yeah, like negative. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like now he really got like much worse. Yeah, so he's not gonna. It looks like he's not gonna play that shade like you mentioned. It's really getting clogged. 
The funny thing is, um, with one warrior playing two brawls and the other player playing like a heavy taunt deck, it sets up a situation where you have like very real brawl RNG to mm -hmm. impact the game. Mm -hmm. It's, like, it's going to be like two things on the board and one of them is a full health ancient of war and that's your only way of killing it. The additional card actually, like the, the Acolyte uh, who draws like so many cards is so super helpful in this situation. Yeah, absolutely. But now it's like, would you... Oh, that's a little bit more tricky. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, you could have tried to draw shield slam, like, just off the top. Yeah, I don't know how threatening Emperor Tharson really is. Um, like, he's got the one combo, but after that, hmm, it's not that many cards in hand. Yeah, but he's I guess he's super afraid of, of like, that. <laughs> that oh, otherwise... Yeah, that was, one. Yeah, ex exactly. That one. Yeah, Lepin's pretty happy. He's... He's actually getting decent cards from his deck. It's a new experience for him today. He <laughs> hasn't experienced this one. I don't know if you guys caught it, but um, he played Tempo Mage and got out tempoed by a priest. <laughs> okay, that's, yeah, that's Kalen pretty Kalento sad. kept his entire hand in the mulligan, and it was Northshire Injured Blade Master Circle Heal. Wow. Well, now he has and, and no creature was killed that game. I okay, guess the Shield Block is also pretty good in time, right? Like, it's just Shield Block, Shield Slam, Attack Phase. Re weapon. Mm, he, he seems to really want to develop a creature. Yeah, I can see that, but. Hmm. Okay. This is where a combo would have been really scary, though. Like, a combo would have been 14 plus 12. Mm. It's a lot of damage. I'm really wondering, I mean, the one play actually is completely mana efficient too, but uh, at the same time you kill a 5-5 five, five for only one mana, you don't deliver him any targets, he could target with anything. Hmm. You replace your card, you get a lot of armor, yeah. I mean, there are many advantages to the other one too. I think since he only has one piece of removal, well now he has two. When you only have one piece of removal, if you can just kind of play a creature and I mean, keep parity like that, you do mm -hmm. that. And then you take advantage of the one mana removal when you can actually play something big with all the rest of your mana. Okay, fair enough. So like, you know, I mean, Ysera, Shield Slam's probably not going to happen, but that would be a better play. Mm -hmm. But maybe like a, a 7 drop and a Shield Slam. What do you guys think of Ysera and just Control Warrior? I love Ysera. She's really good right now. Really good. She's super strong. I, I like it in Dragon Warrior. <laughs> Because it's a dragon that costs 9 mana, so it just sits in your hand the whole game. Yeah, but even with just regular warrior, just with the Emperor making an 8 drop, I mean, it didn't happen in this game, but still the Emperor, like, cheapens the rest of your hands, so then mm -hmm. you do have more mana so you can afford, like, mm -hmm. a 9 drop. Is Domnos actually playing any uh, Infiltrators? Because, I mean, he plays Alex and he plays Ezera, so... Okay. You mean the Corruptor? Uh, so, sorry, sorry, the Corruptor, of course. Yeah. Uh, I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, we haven't seen any. I think we've seen most of his deck already. Okay. That would surprise me. Because usually they do it, right? Like yeah. with, with one, two dragons, for sure. No, not with one. I think they do it with three. I think three is what, what you need. It's usually Alex, Ysera, and... Nefarian. Nefarian. Alex, Ysera. Alright, okay. Yeah, because like, one of them is always a dead card. Like, you just never play it the whole game, so... Yeah, but it's, it's usually not three nine mana dragons, right? It's usually... Oh, okay. I mean, I thought like a lot of them are actually cutting Alexstrasza. So. I think so, but uh, for Warrior, there's like no other good dragons. Yeah. Yeah, that's a problem right now. Dragon synergies are awesome. Dragons suck. <laughs> yeah. I think Nefarian's great. Any Sarah, but Alex is. Cool. Yeah. Well, the big threats are coming down, but with uh, with both players at high health. The big Gur threats are gonna probably take the game. Ezera is just awesome. I yeah. mean, if you can, if your opponent cannot handle Ezera, she is just insane. It has to be Ezera. I don't see anything else. Yeah, I mean, is he really that scared of a keeper? Oh, of keeper? Well, I mean, I mean, even even a keeper, like, well, it's the worst that can happen. It's still four twelve. I guess but it's a great like really combo, hesitating. but I mean, there is not. I, I mean, if your opponent does have the combo, I mean, so be it, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're not playing around that with anything. Yeah, you best stop playing the Ysera as soon as possible. Oh, you could. playing around the combo later. Yeah, exactly. Like the, the dream cards to help you keep it. Keep it, boys. Combo. 
It was a keeper, but I mean, it's still fine. Yeah, sure. I mean, what's probably not that fine is that he got the worst cut of, of, of it. Yeah, so. laughing sister. She's laughing at you, I guess, <laughs> if you get here. That's actually really bad. Like, even Nightmare would have been amazing with the BG draw now. Oh, absolutely. You actually have no really good plays anymore. Hmm. This is downhill for the warrior. Yeah, so what did he end up brawling? Was he afraid of combo when he brawled there? Because he only brawled two creatures, right? Mm. Kind of a weak brawl. Yeah. Hmm. I think really your best bet is to just play some garbage and one of those things has to be a belcher. <laughs> what now? Yeah, it's a laughing sister belcher. Mm -hmm. I'm wrong, yeah. Absolutely. I think you should get an attack on the SA, yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's pretty sad, okay. No other option there. Yeah. Is, is that it, though? You do five, you can do two, so you have four. I think you have 11 damage. Yeah, 11 to face, three off. Uh, yeah. What's the mm. best case for the wild growth? Mm -hmm. A roar, maybe? It would be the roar. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, I believe so. Mm. Well, I, I don't think the swipe and, and uh, force of nature together is like that great. Like you almost kill the warrior, but it's kind of wasteful. And that can go badly very quickly. Mm. So I, I like the, the, the wild growth just to see what's what's next. Yeah, no definitely. One. Oh, mm. so okay. it's like yeah, this attack's right. happening for sure. But yeah, if you got Savage Roar, would have been better to wait. But yeah. mm. <laughs> I think he was still one off. I hadn't, I didn't done, do all the ways, but I think he was still one off anyways. Savage and swipe. And swipe was it or what? If you uh, swipe face. Yeah, swipe keep face. Her in and then Uzi. Four. No, uh, two from the hero power, and then you have. It was thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Six plus four plus four. It's enough, right? Oh, no, it was fourteen. It was, it was 14. fourteen. Yeah. That was lethal. Yeah. Yeah. He missed lethal. Yeah, I guess it was enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah, well, he missed lethal. That's not a big deal. It's fine. That's fine. <laughs> It'll win anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty silly. I mean, also, I think, yeah, in, he just also realized in different that's, ways. That's the head shake. Mm. It was weird, though, that he made the attack. Cause he, he was obviously split on something. But yeah. He's like, first I'll make the attack. I'm trying to figure out exactly what it was. It was a really complicated turn. Like, there's, there's no taking away that from him. Well, and now, but, now he's just like, now he just loses, perhaps. So, I mean, no, 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 that can be right. Mm. Uh, no, huh? Okay, it's lethal. Yeah, not really, right? I mean, if she oh. comes down, it's not, see, I see. right? I mean, oh, does he take? Oh, I mean, he, oh, that's. I don't know. Oh, he's so he's. That's really spot on. I mean, just saying, like, I Inter don't lose this. Yeah. He's in right now. Oh no. Um. I mean, it's, it's pretty interesting from Domino that he says, "Okay, I'm, I'm winning this anyways." Like, if, if through it cannot do something silly and um, so I'm just playing around the combo shield slamming it 2-3 which is not standard right I mean shield them usually should have more value than 2-3 but he's, he's just playing around it and, and it definitely pays off here this is another complicated turn you can't really swipe into an armor smith it doesn't, it doesn't do anything yeah so usually in this situation you'd like You'd combo last. You'd do everything and then you'd combo. Right. But actually, if he comboed first and then did charge a swipe, it'd be better. Because now he can. Alex draws his card. Oh, but he's gonna. Mm. He swipes. Okay. Uh, now it's 15 again. It's so silly. Yeah. Like now he can just attack and bring himself to 15 again. Oh, man. He's got the shield lane after that as well. I 
think, a little bit of hesitation. I think we're for not. PGH. I think I like the Shield Maiden first. I think this he, he uses all his mana, and then this way he might pick something up. Like he needs enough rage, right? Not much, but... Oh, no, you got oh he does run two savage roars. <laughs> hmm, makes sense. Well, he does have a two-turn lethal as it stands. <laughs> it's true. No, no savage roar I mean, for three the, the following maiden. turn. Yeah. No, not really. Yeah, yeah oh, okay, but um, hmm. well, the armor smith. Oh yeah, just, like, like death by yeah. yeah. I mean, the thing is, if he if he thinks that. Domdus doesn't have anything anyways, then he would have comboed last turn already and prepare for the swipe kill, right? So... But yeah, I mean, he's going for it. This is so funny. Like, Lead Paint was so unlucky in his first three matches against Kalento and he lost because mm -hmm. of it. But here he was actually really lucky. He yeah. did just a small misstep, but he might just lose anyway. I can take the hit. Well, I mean... It's... I think he's gonna swing here. Why not? Oh, he's probably doing some math with the chart with the two of the clan number two. Oh, definitely attacking. Yeah, sure. I mean, that's three more armor, right? Yeah. You really yeah. need that. You need anything. Yeah. yeah. That's super good. But I mean, in this case, you can really not say that it's unjustified. Like, it's... Yeah. it's yeah. Um, I mean, actually, like, these Hearthstone matches or these Hearthstone games the most, where you actually can really see, like, why somebody lost. And in this case, it's quite obvious, right? I mean, if you yeah. miss lethal, then your opponent can come back. With one health, Alistraza, and a lot of armor. Yeah, well, I mean, Domus just played, like, also these plays, like, very spot on, right? I mean, yeah. two two of these plays were actually, like, if he plays it differently, he just loses. Yeah. And he just played nearly perfectly, like, or all perfectly. I mean, we don't mm -hmm. know exactly, but in this yeah, case, the, the, it the, was the perfect. The brawl maybe seemed questionable, but, yeah. I mean... Yeah. Questionable doesn't mean wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But definitely the two decisions where he actually played around lethal, like that was simply spot on. Yeah. Wow. That is pretty amazing. Well, you can see, uh, you can see there's a lot of focus. There's a lot of intensity going on here. And uh, quite a bit of disappointment in Lead Paint's face, from what I can tell. Yeah, I'm sure he's really uh, upset that he lost the Druid Risk Control Warrior. It's kind of like the matchup you want. And then well, Tom just yeah. picking up the win. But, you know, that's a really hard matchup, even with the addition of things like Emperor, Thorsane, and Ysera. Mm -hmm. Oh, he also did a quick swap here. You don't look like uh, Life Coach. Yeah, yeah, we simply replaced the Life Coach. Okay. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. What do you think of this game so far, Chucky? Well, I think Lead Paint finally got to play some Hearthstone. Okay, that yeah, and that's I true. And I heard he missed Lethal, and then he lost to a bunch yeah. of armor. Did did you did you see the the turn though? Yeah, yeah, he did miss because there was there was a lot of number work. Like yeah, I'm, it was per, swipe I'm like and, ninety percent sure Savador. he missed Lethal. Okay. Yeah, no, it, it was yeah. hundred percent. Okay, nail the coffin from hype there. Unfortunate. Yeah. Un well, is it? Not his event so far. No, no, not at all. But uh, I mean, there's there's still some play to be had. I mean, yeah. being down one game is not the end of the world. Uh, well, that was a pretty bad one to lose. Pretty <laughs> versus control <laughs> warrior. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. But uh, you know, there's more game to be had, and uh, the next game is going to be against the same druid up against the handlock again. Not too bad of a matchup for the druid, I believe. Not too bad. It seems we've gotten more in the. It used to be really good for Druid. It's gotten yeah. more in the Handlock's favor, I think, with Thorson helping them a lot more. Also, I believe um, Dominus's Handlock is running two BGHs, and I'm pretty sure there is no BGH target in the Druid from what we've seen. Probably a boom. Is there? Oh, I guess it is the Taunt version. Uh, it's Taunt with combo. Something has to go. Yeah. And if Doctor Boom is the only BGH card and you know people are playing BGH, you might just drop Boom. Maybe. The boom bots always get the BTH back anyway. And some face damage. And some face damage. Really good with the Druid class. Yeah. Often just kills a sludge belcher. Yeah, we'll see. Must protect the wild. Yeah. Okay. So the Ancient of the War is probably just gonna hurt Blood Paint overall in this matchup. Do you think they add anything? I mean they're in place of yeah, boom. Yeah. Uh Definitely susceptible to owls. Yeah. Double shade and no. So, 
Tom is probably gonna need the Watcher to clear those. Otherwise, they're just gonna live forever. Yeah, if those get past like the the four health threshold, pretty threatening to handlock. Is this is this common for Druid these days? I have not seen much Druid on ladder in the very few games that I've played, but I certainly have not seen like taunt Druid with double Savage or Force of Nature. Ancient War has been working its way back in very slowly, but more so in tournaments, I notice, and ESL tournaments especially, like when I play the open brackets, I always see these Ancient Wars getting pretty far. Yeah. Um, but I think, yeah, it's just a tournament call right now. Yeah, I think it has a lot to do with the patron stuff going on. Well, that's Force of Nature again. I'm I'm pretty sure there are, there are no two Force of Natures in this. Probably not. It's like, how do you fit all that? Yeah, pretty tough to do. Like, I'm, I don't really understand what he took out. Like, I'm pretty sure Dr. Boom is out, but I don't even know past that. Good play against Hellfire there. Yeah, just held back with the shade, knowing that, you know, Warlock has a lot of stuff to clear that, mainly Hellfire. It's also good just to burn the fourth turn with your second. Yeah, I don't think he would have Hellfired if he had anything else to do, like if he had that Drake, but yeah. with Hellfire or Tap being the options, mm -hmm. he Hellfire. Yeah. And since Drake came out of turn late, it gets so exactly punished. silence here powered, yeah. which is just perfect. And Drake actually, often, Drake often is okay if it gets silenced uh, as long as it doesn't. Yeah, as get, long as like, you can't hear power in the yeah. same turn. Um, he's actually on a Savage Roar draw to win the game already mm -hmm. with the inner bait. Yeah. Of course, Domus can't really play around inner bait combos, so we're just gonna. He's got two Savage Roars so at this point. We're looking at like maybe. 10, 11 percent, something like that. It's probably yep. got like 20, 21 cards left. That is it. No, no, but we're still not too far off. Yeah. There's like 13 damage, Mac. Yeah, the late game inner rates versus uh, Hamlock, it's super dangerous because they're like doing the exact math so they could be one HP off lethal. <laughs> use the I kind of like pushing silence. for some damage and clearing Tharson, but if I, if I do that, I kind of like burning the Druid of the Claw because the swipe can go through taunts. Am I wrong on that? Uh, oh, like Druid of the Claw into the Emperor? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but Druid of the Claw you can always roar later. That's like a way you kill handlocks as well. Yeah, but it is handlock. Like, don't you get taunted out? Because uh, well, they're usually busy of. clearing, so they can't like fully develop unless you give them like double bolt. Oh, no. You're mainly just looking to keep your board alive. Yeah, plus the taunt Druid of the Claw is pretty good at that as well. Uh, he had to do some interesting math here to play around Molten Shadow Flame, and he did it exactly by one. Yeah. So yeah. he assumed both Molten and Shadow Flame would have gotten Emperored, putting it at, you know, at mm -hmm. eight mana cost, two below what's expected. So, so he's not really threatening lethal anymore since he popped the uh, Innervate, though. Mm. He can't really play much with Shadow Flame. Yeah. It really has to be a Shadow Flame play next turn. Yep. Yeah, and he's got the Sylvanas for that anyways. So this turn, what's the most aggressive? Is it Dr. Boom, or can he do something with multiple creatures? Uh, if you Dr. Boom, you are dead to just Savage Roar. Which you know he has two of. Yeah. So I think he's going to taunt up to be safe. Wait, since... no, he doesn't know there's two of them. He didn't play two of them last game. Did he not? No. Okay, yeah, you're right, he didn't. And it... It seems unlikely that there would be two of them to start. Yeah. Uh, he's still dead to Savage Roar if you rolls it. Yeah. Oh. But the second sign. Another Drake bites the dust. Yeah. There is comeback potential still for the, the Warlock. Yeah, because right now, like, you have damage, but it's kind of risky to push for it. Yeah, with Sylvanas Shadow Flame, he gets to take a slime, and if. The Druid doesn't push right now, and even if he does, you either get a Molten, or you stay at higher health. And he's just not going to push, and this seems like a pretty perfect Shadow Flame turn. Yeah. Is Sylvanas the best candidate? Yeah, it has to be. Probably. Uh, the Molten's only going to get cheaper and cheaper, mm -hmm. and Sylvanas just gives you a slime. I have no time that slime is some extra health, and without taunt activators in your hand, that extra health is pretty yeah. significant. It's also just annoying. Like, if you wanted a Druid to call charge, 
it soaks up four instead of two. Mm -hmm. So he really wants to save the jewel caught charge then? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it would have just been really in inefficient hand. this turn is all. Harrison comes down. Oh, you don't like just taunt Drew the Claw? Double oh, taunt. I guess you could have taunted, yeah. I think I like Drew the Claw more. Mm. I don't see what it really plays around. I guess it leaves you with your Harrison, but yeah, it's when's your opponent going to Draxus? Right, against man. a Druid? <laughs> Maybe <wonder>. soon. <laughs> Maybe. See what happens. It'd be pretty heartbreaking for Lead Paint to lose again in like the same fashion where he's so close yeah. all the time. Barely gets out healed. Out taunted. Well here you have to play your Molten Giant. Yeah. There's just no better option. You can just Shadow Flame it. Okay. You're still alive with combo. Because of that good old slime. Ooh, hello, that's a good one. Yeah. There's no real efficient removal in Dominus' sand for that. Even if he draws an owl, it's still a 5 5 body that lives. Mm -hmm. Sun is pretty good, though. Think about booze and uh, taunting them up. Yeah, I think we're just going to play the Ooze as a unit. Because obviously Druid has no weapons. Might as well get a 3 2 down if you can. You're not aware that Blingtron top the Druid with Savagery? You know, I have played Blingtron and Druid before. It seemed like a good idea. You know, you're trying to kill him. Yeah. It worked some of the time, other yeah. times now. Yeah, yeah. I I'm familiar with the, the failures of Blingtron. When you get Lights of Justice, you give your opponent a Doom Hammer. Yeah. So I get to play in a rogue, so I get the Light's Justice, put oil on it. Oh, man. Or when you do get the Doom Hammer, put oil on that. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> now you want to do it, right? <laughs> well, this is like the Kerperian Lethal, where you just, you know, go for it and mortal coil your own boom bots. Why not? Seems good to me. <laughs> is, it, is that even that unlikely? Yeah, you only have to do three damage. Way. No, with the Draxus swing. Uh, oh no, you can't owl yeah, as well. You, can't, you, can, yeah, you can only pop one, one boombot. Yeah. Yeah, owling makes sense. No, you just you just attack yeah, you into attack the, the creature body. with one boombot. If it goes face, you make the play. <laughs> or you just, you know, play stuff and win. Oh, look, at this, look at this. Well, I should have done that. Look at that. Wait. What's what's up? What happened? You th maybe he should have attacked first, you think? I mean, maybe yeah, he did, he, had did he miss lethal? Yeah. Because he could have had three more, four more? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Because he could have put the boom, the other boom out to face and Jaraxxus if yep. he didn't tap and... Mm -hmm. Wow. How about that? The Kerperian lethal, how about it? Yeah. Well, two games, two miss lethals. <laughs> yeah, usually it's correct to draw first, but maybe it is correct yeah, to boom bot first exactly. in that situation. you got to weigh your RNG effects. Well, Lead Paint uh, looks like he's not gonna be uh, not gonna be any games up in any matches yet. He has yet Ouch. to win a game. He's really 05 rough. in the ESL finals so far. Yeah, and that does it. Yeah. Not gonna miss it this time. Did he even get an Oblivion? He got a well played. What else? He got a giant well played box. Is that it? That's some style. I like the giant box. Okay. I think I like giant Oblivion more. Yeah. Oblivion's nicer. Oblivion's the best emote. Yeah. Oh, Domdus uh, looking pretty strong right now. Um, whatever the matchups are, I don't even, I don't even remember what decks <laughs> we're playing against. But whatever they are, it seems unlikely that Lead Paint will be able to win three of them in a row. Yeah. Always is. Mm -hmm. It's happened once today. Yeah. Uh, but that was that wasn't a very discreet scenario where both players are playing hunter and warrior, and both of the last classes sucked. Yeah. And the last class that was shaman ended up not making it. <laughs> poor shaman. Yeah, poor shaman. Winless so far. Winless. Is that true? Yeah. 
It's just a zero and three. Mm. There are more shamans in this tournament, though. Okay. Well, They're coming. We'll have to see them tomorrow, I guess. Yep. Uh, just just to recap on what's going on these days. Uh, today we've already done Group A, and uh, right now we're we're just about to close up Group B, uh, and yeah. we're going to move on to uh, Groups C and D uh, tomorrow. We'll get to see all the players, all the decks they brought. Maybe have some pretty good ideas about what we can expect from the finals. For now, though, it's going to be Mage from Lead Paint and Druid from Dominus. He's actually looking pretty good for Lead Paint because his Druid should be favored in the Druid Mirror with the Ancient Wars, unless mm -hmm. he's playing Black Knight. And then the Tempo Mage beats Druid almost every time. That's why he started with it because it's the strongest yeah. one. Mm -hmm. It's pretty sure. Wants to get some get information. It. Yeah. And then his last deck is Hunter. I don't know exactly his Hunters, but it's generally good. So you guys Druid. are saying Lead Paint might actually win a game here? Yeah, he's got. He's pretty good. He but. might win a game. <laughs> I think what Hype is saying it might be like a fifteen percent instead of a ten percent. Okay. So. It's I, I really like Source of Princess Flame Cannons. They're so insane. Yeah, especially against Druid, which yeah. is really like to play Shade, mm -hmm. which can't be answered otherwise. Yeah. Yep. He agrees. Keeps both. I don't like that card so much. Yeah, it's not that good. Yeah. One health, one drop. Going first is always nice. You have to just steal that coin for it. It's yep. usually worth it, tempo wise. It's not coin. Hmm. Probably gonna look to swipe around turn four, so decides he'll take the extra damage. Or just hero right. power at this turn. Coin the keeper next turn. That's basically the same thing. Yep. Like if you don't attack it with your weapon, here, with your either here or here, it's just gonna attack yeah. you for that two damage. Two extra damage, save the coin. Pretty worth it. And slow decks usually is. Yeah. No play here for for lead paint. Oh, he can play. I think he can cross full face. Yeah. Cross full face. Yeah, I might not do that. Okay. I like to do that against Paladins, actually. Turn 3 Frostbolt face. I think it's actually fairly effective in some situations. I like doing it against Warriors when they expect the the second turn to Death Spite. Oh, yeah. To clear your board, you're just like, nope. Yeah, but I don't, I don't play Constrict that much. I must play Arena. Yeah. They just let them have that charge. <laughs> they don't expect them to have a group patron. Well, the Yeti's a good draw. Yeah, Yeti's really good against but... Druid. They can't deal with the 5 HP normally. But he's just innovated Keeper, so... Or innovated uh, Emperor. Yeah. That's okay, he still has a great answer. Just flame cannon. Yeah. That does mean you have to trade. And you are looking to kill your opponent, so... I think it's still okay. It is. Yeah, especially with that. Yep. That's a good draw. I think... I think I'd even taunt up, like, the, the Yeti now. Why the Yeti over the 3 2? Any particular reason? Why not? Yeah, I think he's saving it for, like, Flame Waker. I can see that. Yeah, Flame Waker Antonitis. Oh, yeah, he plays Antonitis, too. Yeah, you taunt the Yeti so you get the Sorcerer's Apprentice effect. If you had, like, Intellect or something. Yeah. He has none of that. Yeah. Wouldn't have mattered. Just gonna swipe it up. I was pretty happy to Drake, though, right after they swipe your board and pass it back. Yeah, it's not looking that great for the mage, but you still maintain board control because you have the, uh... You have a clear board that you're playing into. If he gets another burn spell, you can consider cloaking this because he's only, like, four off. Or just play that. I think I like playing that. I would play that. Yeah, I'd either cloak or play that. Either one feels good. Yeah, you definitely want to... For Antonidas, cloak is better. Yeah. So... If, no wrath to draw, though. Yeah, if I was aware my opponent had an Azure Drake in their deck, I would probably cloak over Mirror Image. That way they can't go Azure Drake Wrath. Okay, now he can cloak this turn after he swings. Yeah. So he's going to actually get max damage out of it. And, uh... He's not dead to combo, even if he doesn't image, but he's probably going to image this turn. Well, he's been really conservative with his spells. He might just not image. Yeah, it looks like he's playing for more of a... A late game, trying to draw maybe like Antonitis. Yeah. Yeah. Entity's like pretty much always good against Druid. It's never not gonna be good. If he did go all in, uh, it wouldn't be that good because his opponent would have just healed with Ancient Lore. Yep. And then probably finish him off with combo the next turn. That combo's still pretty real. 
Yeah, doesn't do too much right now. Hmm. I think I like just uh, shade reverse to switch one of the O2s and maybe hero power the other. Yeah, you do give your opponent a 3-3 shade, but... Yeah, what, do you, what can you do? What can you do, yeah. I mean, the more defensively you play here, like if you combo to clear, you basically give up all of your damage, and the mage has even more time to draw something like Antonitis to just keep you out of the game with the stealth spare part. I think you have to give him something, and Shade is, you know, the worst. Wow. Yep. Super defensive clear. Yep. I didn't so. see this at all. A lot of damage now gone. I think now that you did this, you might as well get that three damage to face, huh? Yeah, I don't think your opponent is very willing to point a bunch of damage at your minions when you're at 17. Those are RNG, might take it. Yeah, I would, I would taunt first. I guess you but might can you play both. the flame walker, or does it take it right out of stealth? No, it takes it right out. Yeah. I'm not even going for it. Yeah, just save the stealth for the Antonitis. I like that. Yeah. I mean, maybe if you hit both yeah. uh, hits. Go for it. Maybe go for it, yeah. And we're back where we were. Awkward position where you have to play a minion. Yeah, and he still has option to heal, though, which is fine. But he's going to give uh, shade, looks like. Wait, wait. I guess he thinks he plays. Does he play counter spell? Uh, he already tested for that last turn. I know, but he could have popped the... Yeah, try to nullify the death. Yeah. Yeah, he could have done that. Um, I think he plays Counterspell. I'm not sure, though. So... Actually, if it's the list... I, if, I mean, if it's the Yeti Clock Gnome list, it doesn't run to Counterspell. So. Regardless, you'd want your opponent to have a Counterspell over a mirror into the right. Yeah, so you... Really you should, yeah. Exactly. Probably should have Savage Roared first. He's not looking at his secrets, so he probably knows exactly what it is. Yeah. Mirror again. Most likely, which is one of the better ones. Probably the best. I think you're just Arcane Intellect again. Yeah. Looking for Antonidas. Looking for late game stuff. There's Antonidas. Gold and one. he has a Frostbolt with it. And his opponent oh, wait, already used Force. Yeah, he could attack and brutal. restealth. Yeah, he could do that. Oh, he's not going to restealth? I guess at 27, he thinks he has time to just antenize stealth. He yeah. So bad. Yeah, he basically does have time to do that. And it's not like his opponent can really play a minion. The thing is, if he stealthed it, he would have just won. You know, Wait, taunt. yeah. Scenarius but... would have denied that, right? Yeah. Uh, would it? Frostbolt 1. Would you Scenarius? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He'd have oh, no, no, Yeah, he'd have lethal. 11, exactly. Yep. So, like Hype said, you can heal yourself, which basically negates the mirror entity, but long term, doesn't really save you. Yeah, I mean, Scenarius is great, right? Yeah, Scenarius is, is better, I think. He's debating the wild growth the, of the hero power here. The 5 8 gets blocked by a 2 2. Yeah. Well, it looks like the, the mage and lead paint's gonna take a game. How about that? Yep. He hasn't won quite yet, but I don't see him uh, losing this one. It's gonna take quite something for that to happen. Yeah, I think like kind of like body language-wise, after being down zero five, mm -hmm. he was kind of mentally out of it. But even when you're mentally out of it, you know you can still do pretty well. I feel like he did that, and I think I like frost bolting the five five and hitting yeah. face with five rather than trading and frost bolting face. I like that too. I certainly don't like the mad scientist. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's strange. And trade huh. probably still wins. Probably. But now, scenarius works. Mm. What about? Oh. Uh, does it work though? No. Because he has exactly, uh. Yeah, he has yeah, exactly yeah. 17. He's got it. Yep. Yeah, no secret. Which makes Mad Scientist even weirder. But good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Barely. Look at those wide eyes from Lead Paint. Oh, man!
It's like, wow, I won a game of first He's down. won. <laughs> Not bad. Now we're talking about like, uh, yeah, it's, that's that's a first step, but it's still uh, quite a bit of a climb here. Right. Yeah, so even the Druid with the Ancient Wars is still not a great matchup. It's still going to be pretty close to 50-50 like most Druid matchups. So I'm pretty sure since he chose the Mage there, he's just going to pick whatever he thinks is better first. Yeah. Or because yeah. neither of them really rely on information. The Druid versus Druid yeah. is going to be the longest game, so that's the most information reliant. So he'll probably go Hunter first. Yeah, there's nothing to lose at this point. No point hiding anything. He's done if he loses again. So. Well, both players are. Well... Yeah, well, yeah, Dom has, has two. two more games, yeah. yeah. He tries, I guess. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see what they come up with. Um, I think you'd play it like as safe as possible. I think you'd still leave your, your best chance last, just to get even more information, perhaps. Yeah, going with the Hunter. Like, we, we don't even know if there's two Force Natures in there. It seems really unlikely, but who knows, right? Right. Yeah, but the, the Hunter doesn't care if there's two Force Natures as much as the Druid does, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, them game faces. Oh man, there we go. Yeah, in tournaments you kind of have to guess based on the frequency at which it's played against you, because mm -hmm. you very rarely get to see all 30 cards. Yeah. So like, if they keep having Force of Nature within the top, you know, 10 to 15 cards, just make you can guess. kind of make a read. Like, okay, he probably is too. I should play around it in the fifth game. Well, we've only seen one. Uh, we've also, but we've seen two Savage Roars, even though I don't think Domus has seen two Savage Roars. There we go. Yet. This is our first true face hunter of the okay. tournament. At least, as far as we can see right now. Could still be hybrid, I guess. Wow, that's oh, that man. Druid hand. Oh, man. With, like, one decent, like, this is, draw mechanic creature. He's this is in not this. a good way to go out if you lose to this Druid draw. But it's a really good hunter draw, too. Okay. Wow. Now, the double one drops is a lot better than the juggler here to play in this exact circumstance where your opponent has Innervate Keeper. Mm -hmm. What do you think about just the Worgen? Mm. And then you can do juggler and then coin the Leopardoon. That gives your opponent basically a free turn to wild growth. Like, they don't even have an option if they had it. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas this pushes one more damage if they wild growth. And every point of damage really counts when you're playing that fast hunter. Yeah. So, yeah. Domus is going to go for a very like aggressive defense. Seems like seems like the right course of action though. Yeah. I've noticed that a lot of players that try and play it kind of greedy usually end up regretting it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> killing a a one one works really well usually, or a two one rather. Wow. So, Wild Growth, two Innervates, and a Keeper. Lead Paint might not get to play Hearthstone again. Still a good chance, though. Yeah, uh, Face Hunter, sometimes you just ignore your opponent's draw and Win zerg anyway. him down. You really need to hit this juggle. Okay. And there it is. Oh, I had one more chance with the Leopard. Yeah. I feel like if the Druid just draws garbage, he's still going to lose. Yeah, that's pretty garbage. Pretty garbage. But there's more garbage than that. There's, there's like another that. wild growth in there. Oh yeah, that'd yeah, be that nice one. to see. <laughs> yeah, let's go hunter. But force nature is pretty good on six actually against aggro. Yeah. So he's gonna go down to 19 from the board. I think you hope to top deck like a two drop here. So you can weave in the hero power. Yeah. What's it going, Gleevesuka? Okay, you're just Wolf Rider, then. Yeah. You're hoping what, your opponent... What's the merit to Wolf Rider versus Arcane Golem? Uh, Arcane Golem, you can ramp your opponent into a 7-drop, normally like Ancient Allure. So if that's the card in this hand, I that's see. terrible. Do you want to skip that 7? Yeah, the best turn to ramp is from 4 to 6, or from 6 to 8, because it doesn't give them anything, any new plays, really. What about a 10 to 10? Are you 10 dead to 10 is anyway? great, yeah. You dead anyway at that stage? If you, yeah, if it's that <laughs> turn you're not happy. Uh, like, this next turn, he'll probably just Arcane Golem. Mm -hmm. Six to eight is fine. And he's getting the Druid pretty low. But... <laughs> a lot of mediocre draws. Yeah. Lip is like, okay. I'm I, let's I, get I guess, him. Make sure that hits the face. Yeah, I guess I like those cards. Put them in for a reason. 
Wow, and actually if Don just draws nothing, yeah. he's going to have to do a terrible trade. trade. Yep. Wow. There it is. So, really important thing here is the Druid is getting very low pressure. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't have combo pieces. He already used a Force. Yeah. So it's not like the Hunter is going to die out of nowhere. So the Hunter has quite a few turns to draw into really nice stuff. He's just not doing it is all. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean just one doggy? <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I think I like Explosive better. Job's done. Could have done both. Then you don't hear a power. Of course. Ter of course it's terrible. Yeah. yeah. Sad day. Mm -hmm. Sad day for lead paints. Draws. Here you have to just attack into the Explosive Trap. Oh, yeah. It's no choice. You're racing. Yep. You're not even. Do, do you play the Hero Power and the Big Game Hunter and save the Keeper? Oh, he just, wow. Like, How do you win like this, though? Scenarius. Scenarius. Right? I would have rather just attacked. Me too. Yeah, you have to attack. Hoffer. I'm not sure you animal pit in here. I think you might just unleash hero power. Too much time. Oh, well, that that's sucked. why, uh, yeah. So he missed two damage, kind of. He missed the opportunity to do it. Job done. Opponent's still really low, though. Yeah. Got a good chance to top deck some damage to Ooh. Pretty good. Bad if you're lead paint. I'm not happy. But still a ways to go. Still at 26 is the main problem. Yeah. It's closing pretty quick though. Yeah, but just like imagine if you'd proc the explosive, he'd be lower. He'd now, be able to keep card, attacking. I think you save. Yeah. Um, maybe. You might just play it because your opponent can't actually clear everything. I mean, he can with the Keeper, mm -hmm. but... Um... Well, that's going to face. Oh, wow. Hmm. Respecting combo, but his opponent only has two cards. And I feel like that one damage might be really relevant. Mm -hmm. Especially with that taunt off the top. Yeah, I mean, Domdas just keeps clearing. And, and I actually noticed this in his qualification week. He had a play where he could have quartermastered his recruits and taken his opponent to one. But he was afraid of, of Shadow Flame. I see. And, and so he cleared and played a long game. That just seems to be like his style. Oh, we need Scenarius. Scenarius? No, not Scenarius. Okay, well, I guess we just it's pass good. another turn and where we try John. to draw Scenarius. Yeah. Or heal. I don't know, like... No, you have to attack. Can, oh, isn't this two turn lethal if you attack? Oh, you might die. Because you get you get seven, eleven, and then you get sixteen next turn. You get twelve this turn. You get to drop off Shredder, and you have at least seventeen next turn. Like you have to attack. Yep, you might die. Oh man, <laughs> I feel really bad. Like the thing is, he's gonna think about this. And forever. now he's thinking about it. And like, then he's eventually gonna attack, and then Lead Paint's gonna top deck kill command lethal. Well, at this point, the misplay doesn't matter. Taking an extra damage onto the emperor. No, no, not doesn't not matter. Even, we're not even slightest. criticizing that. Right. That's totally relevant. That's a small this game. misplay, but doesn't matter. Like yeah. it's understandable. Oh, look at that! He sacked the shredder earlier. Maybe I'm he would have drawn into. I'm glad mind though. Like scenarios. this is the right play. You have to attack. Okay. If he draws kill command or quick shot, that's unfortunate. Or owl. Owl, yeah. There's a lot of draws here. And Arcane Golem oh, does it. Oh wow, look at that. Yep. Sick. Dominus. Oh no! Soul crushed! Get him even now. Smork. <sighs> nope. Nope. If Yeah, I mean I think if Dominus proc that trap earlier and went a bit more aggressive. Just trying to outlast them very rarely works. Yeah. But would go and aggressive actually turn the clock one turn faster? I, I don't think, think if he didn't it trade enough. five fives like into one ones, it okay. would have. Mm, perhaps, so perhaps you have to take a risk at some point. I'm and sure the that, turn he took a risk is like the wrong turn. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure this well, actually was right because he got the lore. But that's like it, the it was correct at the end. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. At the end, I liked his play, but. What is um? What does he have to fall back on here? This like, is going to be a Druid Mirror. Druid Mirror. Yeah, yeah. he's got the wars that I think and, help and hyped a little bit. Hyped thinks uh, Lead Paint's favored. Okay. 
Okay. So, suddenly, here we are. Wow. Maybe lead paint has sort of taken the lead. I sort am. of. It's going to depend a lot on Wild Gross and Innervates. Mainly Wild Gross. Yeah, most of that first one. Yeah. Now, well, this, the Keeper lining up with the Ancient of Wars and the Sylvanas on both sides mm -hmm. usually is what... Oh, yeah, Keeper, very important still, yeah. yeah. We have to keep in mind that whoever wins this match is still basically just going to get brutally owned by Kalento right after. Yeah, but whoever loses this match feels terrible. Okay. About just life. <laughs> like, I've been in both of these circumstances. You're up 2-0, okay. you lose. You're down 2-0, you kind of come back, you lose. Like, mm -hmm. both feel bad. We'll rise against you. Well, that's one innervate. I think that big game is not worth much. I think you just keep the innervate. Yeah. You almost certainly keep innervate. And I like the uh, four pitch from, I believe that's Domdus. Mm -hmm. Wow, innervate. Uh, Emperor with a combo piece. Yeah, combo piece, not insane, though. Uh, two combo piece. Still not insane, because like if you're behind on board, yeah, you have to use them to clear. Coming wild growth top deck on two. That'd be really sick. That'd be really insane. Okay, no, gonna get it. But his opponent has nothing really. Yeah. He's gonna probably coin out a shade. Yeah, so he's gonna have two shades on the board when he throws yeah. down the emperor. That's pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. but it's still like inefficient to clear the emperor. Yeah, because swipe is one off. So he has to like throw one in and hero yep. power maybe. Rough. Gonna be an interesting game. And like Hype said, I think the taunts help out a lot. It's a huge card to get discounted too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I think those shades, like because they're, they're going unpunished, they're just gonna pull a lot of weight if he. Well, one of them's to gonna die. Them. Will it? Yeah. Maybe you just you don't give just him an emperor. emperor. No. 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 Okay. No, one of those is gonna die. Probably the 3-3, three, three, and then you just keep her for 2 damage. You hate to use Keeper not to silence, but you need to push for the board. Mm -hmm. Because you, as the non-war deck, you're the aggressor. Yeah, I think you're right. One of the real questions, though, is do you put the 4-4 four, four to the face, or do you save it? It does efficiently clear a lot of, like, Sinjin, Belcher... He's thinking about it. Yeah. I don't. I don't think swipe is is to be considered here at all. Yeah, uh, swipe has almost no merit. It, I mean, it's. I think keeper is good, but I don't think just if, being if, greedy with the shades is like game losing. I think that's what he's actually thinking about. If you're a risky, hmm. if you want to take a risk, you can just play a piloted shredder. Yeah, exactly. And swipe next turn. Yeah, you can do that. If you want your opponent to have minus 11 mana worth of stuff. Yeah. That's what he wants, I believe. I don't think so. Like I said, Domdus has been very risk-averse in his previous games, so this makes a lot of sense to me. Why would you think he thought so much on that turn, then? I would have liked to see him attack there, because with the super discounted hand, you really don't want him to play something good on curve. Like, he's got, well, actually, he misses it with that three mana engine. Yeah, this but you would have been really terrible. happy to get swiped there, <laughs> yeah. and then you would have got to play your Azur Drake. That Sengen's really bad. It just gets eaten, and then you can't kill the shade unless you force of nature. Sorry, the boom bots. Didn't will think about it. that. Boom bots will handle it. Yeah, but it'll just kill your boom. You just put it in the boom, and then swipe face. No. Something like that. <laughs> so you do have a oh, the ten mana combo. Wow. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man, there it goes. Yep. How do you make such a heart break and move so quickly? Yeah, didn't think too much about it even. He was just sure. There is some merit to going fast in tournaments if your opponent is taking a long time. Yeah. Because then they don't get as much to think. But jeez. Man. That was double combo though to innervate. Double combo, gone. And, uh, now he needs the other the side reverse of drawer emperor. if it's there at all. And an innervate, which he's already used one of. It's just not happening anymore. The Reverse Emperor. You don't like that. No, not at all. So, minus 11 mana. How about minus 12 mana? 12. Oh, wow. 
the best draw on this deck. Shredder time. You could even swipe to save your guy. I wouldn't. I'd probably just Shredder and go face. Yeah. The Shredder play also loses to MC Tech, which used to be a thing. Well, if it's going to be in a deck, it'd be in the Taunt deck. Yeah. Yeah. Use it with the swipe. Like, like, it didn't really affect his hand. I would have gone with the Shredder. But at the same time, having the Emperor on the board really might limit Lead Pain's plays. Wow. That Emperor is probably going to get three reductions. Six mana Dr. Boom. Seems expensive. Yeah. BGH and swipe in his opponent's hand. The one mana BGH. One mana BGH. Get tempoed. Yep. Like that? Good enough? Eh, yeah. Good enough for Dominus. He really wants to protect that Emperor. Oh, goodbye Emperor. Oh, that was a close <laughs> one. Close one. Oh, man. And after clawing back from down at 05 in games. Lead paint's gonna see it all fall apart in the Druid Mirror match. Oh the pinnacle God. of skill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Is it hopeless? If he had a swipe here, maybe not. I you can go for like a doomsayer. That might be your only hope. Let's see if he agrees. You'd win with a doomsayer. I think you actually win with a Doomsayer. Well, if you start with the Savage or Hero Power, then you can win with uh, Explosive Sheep as well. Oh, wow. So, okay. Definitely correct. <laughs> no, he doesn't see it. No. Oh, I'm really disappointed we don't get to see mm -hmm. if it were to be. Well, we, we might. We might get to see here. Like, how can you not just heart of the cards? That Just throw your hands up in the air. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Attack with that Shredder. The end is coming. Oh, man. I don't know if he would have won. He would have mm. been a... okay. Mm. <laughs> you know how they can make Doomsayer cooler? They just give it charge. Yeah. That way priests could exactly. murder everyone. Yeah. Wouldn't that be awesome? No. Okay, now you have to go for the Doomsayer. Can you now, though? No. no. Sad life. Wrath top deck at the Doomsayer. <laughs> I think that was a Belcher. Oh, this is... Oh, no, no. Um, okay, draw two cards. No, gonna... No, he's, he was still in that. Well, he would still get the other Shredder drop. Yeah, uh, and it would have been another Doomsayer, which would have been awesome. <laughs> that wouldn't even be that good, because yeah, then it tempos you out. Tempos you out, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we have our first exit of Group B. Yep. And it is in the name of Lead Paint. With a smile on his face, though, I mean, yeah. if you're going to go out... Have a good time. I yeah, guess, kind of a little bit. He was bit like one of the happiest there. people to be here. So you don't look that happy at the end of that match. Yeah, but no, no. But I mean, happiness only goes so far. Right. Yeah. yeah. You can't be optimistic in every situation. All right. Well, uh, Dominus taking his game. He will be playing against Colento in our final match of the day. That'll be coming up pretty soon. Here. What What do you guys think about that? Seems pretty interesting. I, I, I feel like uh, Colento was going to be like a bit of an unstoppable force, but then uh, then he got 3 0 by Kit Kats, which yeah, is interesting. I think the big storyline deck-wise of that is, again, going to be if Domdus can take down the Patron Warrior mm -hmm. and maybe pick a win or two off the other decks. But I don't think it has I would... to revolve around the Priest, Colento's Priest, not holding him back. Uh, his opponent does have a Druid, which is good for the Priest. Other than that, yeah, Priest might hold him back a bit. Not sure. I know Kalento's pretty confident about it, but yeah, I think skill-wise, probably you know most people would agree Kalento has the edge. 
All right, well, uh, let's see what Don had to say about uh, that last match and uh, maybe the next uh, against Calento. Thanks so much, Crip, Hyped, and crew. Domdis, congratulations for staying alive for now. You still have to play Calento. That's the bad news uh, to, to top off the good news. So let's talk a little bit about that series. Uh, what went right and what went wrong, in your opinion? Um, I think most things went right, right for me, luckily. Obviously, uh, losing to the Hunter that second to last game was like, uh. But he had a lot of outs, I think, in that draw, so it wasn't like unexpected. Um, other than that, everything went pretty well. I think I played OK. Hopefully. I mean, it got through, so, yeah. There's actually a moment in game number one where the Druid actually had lethal, and he missed it, and you end up barely living, and then for that point on, he was like one damage off for a long time, and you end up winning. Were you aware of that at all? Uh, I wasn't aware that he had lethal, but I could tell, like, if he had combo, I was just, you know, I kept trying to keep myself at 15, so I had, like, Alex myself, and luckily I had, like, I got armor smith, so I built up a bunch of armor, but that's rough. That's definitely rough. I got really lucky then, because that would have changed the whole match, definitely. So, whew. Well, don't worry, man. You stay alive for now. And I guess uh, the Hearthstone guys de deemed you for one more series to stay alive. Um, so going into Kalento, is there anything that, because I guess this means you'd play everybody in your group in order to get through. Uh, is there anything special, or is it just like another match that you have to take on one at a time? Uh, I'm just really excited to play him. Obviously, one of the best players in the world. Um, I've like watched him stream for a long time. So it's just, it's an honor to get to play him. It should be a lot of fun. But... It's like another match I really want to get through, so got to beat him. Cool. Uh, we actually want to take this opportunity to ask uh, another question that's been on my mind for a while. Uh, so you're on Team Magic Amy still, and I, as far as I was concerned, as to my knowledge, uh, that team was more of a group of friends, and it almost felt like it discontinued uh, shortly after BlizzCon or some kind of continuation because people weren't really playing as much, and people even went on different teams. Uh, so, so what's going on with that situation? Is it like, because you're a latest recruit of it, and not many people have been joining since then. We kind of just kept the name to be like a little bit trolly to the community. Um, like you said, it's kind of just a group of friends, but we thought the name was hilarious, kind of like the whole situation. So that's why we kept the tag. But yeah, it's pretty much just a group of friends playing together. We don't really have a presence online or anything like that. But yeah, just to be a little hilarious and trolly. To keep up the tradition, because that's what Silent Storm was last season, so maybe it's a good indication another member of Team Magic Amy wins season two. Yep, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we don't take month too much. Uh, we don't want to take too much of your time. It's getting late, uh, so good luck in your next match up against Colento. We're gonna give it one more time to our commentators desk to wrap up the day for the final group match of B. Thank you very much.